Hello, I'm Jed Walters. Welcome to my teaching studio down here at TrueFit Golf Center in Warrington. Today, I wanna to help you uh, understand how your backswing should be made a little bit more stably to enable you to hit some better golf shots and maybe avoid that destructive little sway. Let's go and take a look. So when it comes to the backswing, making a really nice, stable, rotational movement is really, really key. And it's a, a concept that sometimes gets a little bit misunderstood. Sometimes when people rotate, they lose their incline to the ground and that becomes a real problem. They also get a little bit of a sway, so their pressure moves not just onto the right-hand side, or the trail side to a right-hand golfer, um, but it also their body becomes unstable and it moves outside of its original start and format so it becomes really difficult to consistently time getting back to hit good quality golf shots. So I have the ultimate drill that will improve your rotational skills guaranteed and all you need is two alignment sticks. If you haven't got alignment sticks, you could always use um, maybe a couple of pieces of bamboo, a couple of canes, something like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the alignment sticks and I'm gonna place it through the belt loops of my trousers, like so. And I'm gonna push it through so it's around about here, maybe just a couple of inches outside of my trail hip, my right hip. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the other one. And if you imagine, right, I'm gonna take my stance here as if I was gonna hit some golf shots out to the left there. If I place this stick here against sort of the inside of my right heel, so my trail heel, and I stick it out there at say, what would be around about say a 45 degree angle. So I've got a cane at around about 45 degree angle against where I wanna hit my shots. Let me just turn that out just a fraction more. And I've got a cane that is here. Now, instability in a rotation sees that change of inclination, that standing up kind of feeling. Um, so from this angle here, you would see a lot of players doing a bit of this as they're making their turn because they wanna make this big rotation, this big turn, but they don't know how to behave to make sure that they retain the incline of the body towards the ground. The other thing that we see a lot of, as I said, is that sort of sway. So you see how the outside, the right hip, or the trail hip, trail knee goes outside the body. This fucking come into here. Sometimes you even see this lead knee coming into the space where the trail knee actually lifts. So that instability of moving this way tends to lead to a bit of this back here and a lot of inconsistencies with where the ground is found. So 45 degrees inside the trail heel taking your setup. Now this important forward angle here should feel like the left shoulder as you make this rotation moves down towards the ground. For me as a right-handed golfer, if you're left, it'd be your right shoulder. And what I wanna do is I wanna feel like I match the stick that's in my belt loop to the stick that is on the ground. So from this angle here, you would see my initial start of the backswing. So initial movement with the arms, quite a quiet shoulders movement. Then I start to get the rotation and I try and match them up to the top. And if you can, if you can rotate even more and maintain your angles, then even better. But what you will see is the change in the knees. So my trail knee will lose a little bit of its original flex. My lead knee will gain a little bit of flex. The lead knee will move inward more towards this central area. And that allows my right hip then to really rotate nicely and complete that rotation. So as I go back and around, you can see the angle of my trail leg, my right leg is pretty close to where it started from in terms of its incline here. And my lead knee is moving in towards that central point. From this point here now, you're in a really nice position to be able to just shift a little bit laterally towards the target and then make that rotation down and through. The reason I've put the stick here is because from this point you can make some swings. So we can go back and match the sticks down and through. So it's back, match the sticks, down and through. And the more you get used to that feeling, the more you get used to the idea of how you want to turn, 
the more improved your golf striking will be because your body will be in a position to be able to consistently get the club interacting with the ground in the correct spot. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, then there's two things that I need you to do. Number one is to post your comments in the box below. I really want to hear your thoughts. Also, while you're down there, why not click the little like button and also subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Also, if you haven't got that little bell notification, click then, click that notification so you know when the next video is about to drop. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.